exciting, isn't it? Yes. If I had a family and I was going to miss it, it's because it would, they were, they were, the turkeys were too far. Hello everyone and welcome back. Spring turkey season's upon us right now and I've been looking for the edge to get myself a spring turkey. Well, actually I've been looking for the edge to get a turkey all uh, regular hunting season in the fall. And uh, I have some Magnus Bullhead turkey tips here. And basically these are supposed to increase the kill radius of your broadhead to help you give you, you know, a little bit more room for error when shooting at a turkey. You know, I got a pretty good, the price on these are about $20 for the set of three. It came with an instructional DVD. I sat down, I watched the instructional DVD with my son. You know, and you know, they had all the testimonials in the video. They showed a bunch of people shooting uh, turkeys and all. And they did have some instruction in the video as far as how to tune them, how to uh, sight in your bow with these. And they touched on something called a four, a four feathered arrow for using layman terms here. And I didn't quite understand what they, they meant and they didn't really show it. They just kind of touched on it. And then they showed a bunch of people shooting stuff. You know, and I saw people drawing back on their arrows and shooting an, an arrow like this with three veins on the back. And then another one, I saw somebody shooting an arrow like this with four veins. I really didn't know what to think about it, but we went out hunting anyway for turkeys. One of my friends took a shot. He had also used some of these, and he took a shot at a turkey, and he said the arrow just took off like three feet up to the left and up, basically. He missed by a mile. And uh, he said it sounded like a helicopter when it when it took off with the arrow. So we, we really weren't sure what was going on other than these things were causing our arrows not to fly straight. So I went back and looked at the instruction video again and figured out that, hey, in order to get these to work, they're recommending using that arrow with the four feathers on it. So I went to the Magnus website, found a link, bought some of these arrows for the poundage of my bow, and I went ahead and bought some of these little quiver adapters as well because these things here do not fit in my quiver and the blades end up sticking out. And basically what these are supposed to do is you stick them in your quiver like so and then your turkey tip goes in here like that. So it gives you a little bit more protection so you don't cut yourself. So already <laughs> I'm in for new arrows and a quiver adapter when I was just going out for some turkey tips. So I go out and I shoot my my four feathered arrow. I'm sorry if I'm using the wrong terms here guys, but <clears throat> and granted my arrows do fly a little straighter with these four arrows, but the feathers are getting or these four feathers, but my feathers are getting tore up. I'm using an octane capture rest. Turns out you need to use a drop away rest because as you can tell with these there is no way those feathers are going to come through without dragging and they're dragging and getting tore up. But with this arrow the way he with it chewed up like that and using the capture rest my arrows flew straight and grouping uh, better groups let me say. I'll roll some footage in here <coughs> excuse me I'll roll some footage in here of me shooting my normal arrows with just a field tip and you can see that I'm taking the zero no problem and then I will shoot my normal arrow here with the turkey tip and it shoots about six to eight inches to the left and then once I used the uh, four feathered arrows here that was recommended kinda in between the lines in the instructional video the uh, the grouping got really good it only dropped a couple of inches and I suspect it was dropping because of my capture rest so in short I don't think this is gonna add much to your your hunting if you will because like I said I'm out 20 bucks $25 for the tips another five or six for this and I believe 30 or more dollars for the for the arrows maybe up to 40 with shipping and then I went out and bought another rest. And looking back, I would probably just stick with my broadheads instead of doing this because this has created more gear for me to carry. And I'm really, the margin for error 
is the odds are not that good. I mean, that didn't increase my kill zone that well as much as I was hoping. Anyways, thanks for watching and please subscribe for more hunting videos.